Shopping is now as easy as just picking up your phone or your tablet, but online shopping can make you easy prey for con artists. Deals on the internet let them stay anonymous. They never meet those that they're trying to defraud. And as Local 12's troubleshooter Howard Ains shows us, their schemes often involve taking checks. He said, I'm going to order this particular picture called Blue Moon, and I'm going to be sending you a check. Dan Mahalko is an artist who sells his pieces online. He thought the question seemed strange since his site is straightforward. It's a very simple process. You order something, I mail it to you. Now we're making it complicated. He wants to send a check. Mahalko is also a retired postal inspector. Having had a career in law enforcement, I'm pretty skeptical of things to begin with. And this one started to jump out right away. The piece cost $400, but the customer sent a check for $1,950. He's saying, I'm not only going to send you a check for the amount of the painting, I'm going to add more on because I'm going to have a mover come and pick it up. The customer said he lived in California. The check had a Texas address, but the envelope was posted in Georgia. Now Mahalko knew it was a scam. If you're ordering something that costs $400, why in the world would you send a check for almost five times that. Initially, he stalled the customer in order to report his email address to the internet provider. But the customer kept asking him to deposit the check and return the money left over, which is key to the scam. They're gonna go through the initial gate at a bank. But the problem is once they finally go through to the Federal Reserve, then they're gonna be found out to be counterfeit. The bank's gonna get it back. You're gonna be charged back. You're gonna be out the money. The scam artists rely on this shell game. They'll get your money before the bank recognizes the counterfeit check. Postal inspectors say the answer is easy. Do your due diligence. Um, ask for a cashier's check when you're corresponding with these uh, individuals, especially if they're strangers. Howard says the bottom line is if you are buying or selling anything online and are asked to wire any money back, beware, it's most likely a scam.